Hi there, this is Matt Allington and today I'm going to talk about a problem that can occur where you have blank records turning up in a slicer. So let me start off by showing you some test data. So what I've done is I've created a products table here um, with three products in it and I have a sales table here and the sales table has four products in it. So you can see that product D is in the sales table but does not exist in the products table. I have gone ahead and loaded that here in Power BI Desktop and you can see that there's the products and there are the sales. So the same data that is in the Excel spreadsheet. Now the behavior that I'm referring to now is that if I was to say set up a matrix and bring the product name in, at this point all is fine. In fact it's a bit small. Um, you can switch themes using this import theme feature and um, I have a blog article that explains how to create that theme file so um, I'll put a link to that in the blog post and in the video. So here's the, um, the product name and if I bring the sales quantity across here's the blank issue occurring so it's now a blank record has been generated here and the reason there's a, and a blank record has been generated here and the reason there's a blank is because there's no matching record in the lookup table in the products table. You can also see the same issue occur if I was to um, bring a slicer in. You can see that the blank also appears in the slicer here. So the cause of the problem is that there is data in the data table there is data in this table with no matching record in this table. And so the best way to solve the problem is to go back to the source and add the missing data. Okay, so once if you were to do that, that will solve the problem and the problem will go away. But sometimes that's not possible. And so in the case that it's not possible, I'm going to show you an alternative approach. So let me re remove that. And so what you can do within Power BI is we can go back into the query editor and what we need to do is we need to create a list of all of the missing products that are in the sales table and then append that list back to the sales table. So at this point I think I will branch the sales table into two. So I'll come here and go extract previous so extracts the steps so this will be the sales staging table and if I jump up here to the view menu query dependencies you'll see what's happened now is that basically um, I've still got my sales table that gets loaded but this sales staging table is a query leading into the sales table okay so now from the sales staging table I'm going to branch a new query so I'm going to create a new query referencing this one and this will be the missing products and let me take this and remove other columns and to find the ones that are missing I need to merge it back onto this products table so I'm going to come here I'm going to merge my queries with the products table on this column and I'm going to select a left anti-join which gives me only the rows that are existing in the first table that are not in the second table. Okay so this correctly comes up with product D. Now there's not much point in me extracting this here because there's no information. You can see here there's no information. So this is what I need and so I'm going to right click remove other columns and this is my opportunity to give some sort of new label. I need to give um, some sort of label to fit in this product name column. So I'm going to go add column, custom column. This will be called product name. It needs to be the same as the other table. And I'm just going to say unknown. So now I've got my column. Here is my original table. Now I need to join this back. Now I should really do, I probably should have done this before, I really should extract the previous steps. And this will be products. The reason I need to do this is otherwise I'll get into a continuous loop. So let me just come and check what I've got here. 
So I've got my products, missing products is picking up from the products. What I need to do is I need to repoint this one to the product staging. I should have done that originally. So I need to go to the missing products and I need to find where I joined this. Here is where I joined it. And I should be able to click on this cog. Yes, I've joined it with the products table. I should have joined it with the product staging table like this. Okay, and so let's go back and check my query dependencies. So this is much better. So I've got these two staging tables and I'm joining the two staging tables to find out the products that are missing. And now I'm going to bring this missing products and append it to the products table. So I'm going to come over here, append queries. And now there's the missing product that's been appended. Now I can go close and apply. I shouldn't have loaded these tables. So I'll quickly go back and change the loading state. The only tables that I need, I don't need this one. Don't need this one. So it's just the two tables that I need to load. These other ones are just used for the pre-calculation. Okay, and now back over here, and there's our problem solved. No more blanks. I've replaced it with um, a text description of my choosing 